Let me show you my face when I heard that Boris Johnson is leaving the office. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your guide from Ukraine, Olena and family. And this video will be my tribute to Boris Johnson. Uh, I'm Premier Johnson, Boris. Good year, everybody. Extraordinary man. He became really like the superhero for Ukraine, like the national hero of Ukraine. This picture made by Alexander uh, Greho. This portrait is a mixture of Boris Johnson and our national poet, our national hero, whose name is Taras Shevchenko. By the way, yes, I called my son Taras after, he, after him, after Taras Shevchenko. Taras Shevchenko is like the father of the nation. We love you, Boris Johnson. Do you know how we call you here in Ukraine? We call you Donsonyuk Boris. Johnson, we call you Donsonyuk, even on TV. <laughs> Because this is the very traditional ending for Ukrainian surname. For example, my mother's surname was, before she got married with my father, was Karpliuk. So Johnson is Johnsonyuk. Johnson, you are one of us. We really feel very grateful for your leading support of Ukraine. You know, in the times when it was not clear uh, what's going to happen in this war of civilizations, who is going to stand with Ukraine? You, Boris, you were the first Superman who just arrived in Ukraine, in Kyiv, met with our President Zelensky. And for Ukrainians, this was, you know, a huge, huge gesture that we are really not alone and that we will have support of the civilization, of the free world, of the West for values of which we are standing right now and we are fighting and basically we are really paying with our lives for the european values for the values of the free world when the fate of ukraine was really being decided he was the first like big leader big politician who arrived in kiev back then uh, boris johnson was given a rooster it's not just a rooster, it's a special one, because first of all, it's like the heritage of Ukrainian culture. It is called Mayolika. These roosters were massively made in Ukrainian 60s, 80s of the last century. So many families had these roosters at home. But why it became so special? Because it became one of the symbols of Ukrainian resistance. Because in one of the apartment blocks in Borodyanka that was totally destroyed by Russians, there was like the shelves left on the wall and on the shelf there was this rooster that did not fall, did not collapse, even though the whole building did. Another cool visit that we remember is when uh, Boris Johnson arrived after the president of France, prime minister of Italy and the chancellor of Germany visited Kiev. Uh, there were a lot of concerns that these Western politicians would propose Ukraine to surrender and uh, sign a peace agreement in which all demands of Russia are satisfied, in which like Ukraine just gives away its territories. This is what Russia wants from us to take their territories. Nevertheless, on the next day, Boris Johnson has arrived and we were, yes, so this is the man. The fact that he was coming, you know, another joke that I remember that was terrific is that like Macron who were spending hours on the phone talking to Putin, there was Johnson who just arrived in Kiev and uh, said, we will support you, we will give you weapons. And it's like a joke. You can, there are many Macrons in your life who are just talking, but there will be one Johnson in your, in your life who will just make things done. The news that I've got on my social media, on Facebook, is that the Chersky court of Kiev cancelled designation of uh, Boris Johnson. Of course, it's a joke. This is one of the many memes that we've got uh, these days. Here, Boris Johnson in the Ukrainian t-shirt, Vyshevanka, traditional Ukrainian t-shirt. Uh, this is another news. Serhii Pritula, who is the top volunteer of Ukraine, has announced fundraising for Boris Johnson to become the Prime Minister of Ukraine, you know, to give him uh, a normal uh, salary to become a Prime Minister. You know who is Pritula? Yes, he is the fundraiser, very cool volunteer, who is like, collecting lots of donations to buy very useful things for the front line for the Ukrainian army. By the way, the link to his fundraising company is in the description. The link to his NGO. And in the end, just check this video.
and in the end just check this video about Boris Johnson this is a tribute of Ukrainian musicians to Boris Johnson Duke Dobry dzień everybody Slavu Ukraini I don't know, me as a simple Ukrainian, I feel that he really played a super important role in, in this battle for the free world. You know, the Western politician who realized, who, who shared my feeling that this is not just a local war between two countries that have some territorial disputes, it's the war between civilizations. This is its attack of barbaric Russia on the free world and Ukraine is the shield, Ukraine is the wall of this free world. And of course, it's better for this wall to be strong enough to stand and not to fall, because if the fall, if the wall falls, the free world may fall too. The last thing I'd like to say is that Ukraine will fight anyway, with the Western support or not. But if Ukraine falls, welcome to hell, guys. The war from Ukraine will come to your home. Of course, nobody wants this to happen, you know, it's just enough. So it's better to stop quickly the war here and not let it just spread around. For this, we need the decisive victory of Ukraine. Russia needs to withdraw its troops at least to the borders, you know, of the 23rd February. And later we can... Yes, we can discuss and have some peace negotiations. You know, how to persuade Russia to take away their troops from the other occupied territories of Ukraine. Because the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine should be 